So for Pi Day today, I thought I would share some of our favorite math games and math books. I bought this one quite a while ago. They're all Usborne books, and um, it is a fun one to flip through. I have used it on occasion with my kids just to kind of mix it up more at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year when we're really getting tired of our curriculum and kind of the daily grind. So this has been a really a good one, especially for... Um, you know, beginner math students, and also, um, you know, of course, it gets into multiplication and things like that. But I find when you get into multiplication, which these books will kind of touch on that, um, you really don't have a whole lot of extra time because they are getting into a lot of, um, it's just a lot of work. And we use Saxon math, and so it's a lot of repetition. It's a spiral curriculum. And um, for the upper grades, I really feel like it is quite a lot of work. Um, so I bought this book last year, and I had it in a haul, an Usborne book haul that I did. And we haven't used it at all this year, but I always find a book for um, summer for my kids to work through, and this is going to be my fourth graders um, summer times tables book, I guess you'd call it, just his math practice for the summer. And it does have actual just, you know, really basic um, uh, multiplication facts, and then it has some fun things. And so I think he'll really like that, and I'll probably just require maybe, you know, two pages a day, and he can just work through that this summer. And it's really fun. I think he'll enjoy it. And then maybe on the off days of doing the times tables books, um, we're going to do these logic puzzles. And I really like these logic puzzle type of books, especially because it's just really something different. Um, and it uses, you know, gets their brains really thinking. And when my son was in first and second grade, we used this during the summer, and that's a really fun one. And so my first grader going into second grade is going to um, start where my oldest left off, and there's still more than half of the book left. So he's going to be doing this one, and my older son will be doing this one, and those are kind of those mind benders, logic puzzles type of things. And then my younger one um, will also just do kind of some math games that I will show you. But this is a really great one to just kind of mix it up. And then our favorite games, I'll start with the ones that I like for my youngest, is this Match and Learn um, puzzle and it has self-correcting um, pairs I guess you'd call it so they can count them up like this like it actually has addition facts like two cows plus one cow and then you know there will be a three over here that you can add on or they can actually just count and they match up really well just like that the next game that we absolutely love is Some Swamp. And you guys have probably seen me, uh, us use this before, but this is a great game for all of my kids. It's great review for my fourth grader. I mean, it's super easy for them, but still good review. It's really great for my first grader and even my preschooler with a little help from her older brothers with the, um, you know, the higher addition and the subtraction. She can get it. So basically it comes with three dice, two number dice, and an operation dice, just subtraction and addition. And they roll those, and they have these cute little pieces. I've seen some that are a little bit different, but this one has an alligator and a dragonfly and a frog and a snail. Start over here, and if they land on an evens, then they have to roll the upper, uh, they have to roll a number dice. And if they land on an even number, they can move that ahead. If they land on an odd number, they don't go anywhere. Or if they land on a number dice, they roll this, and if they, they get an addition sign, they can move forward two spaces. If they get a subtraction sign, they have to move backwards two spaces. So it's a really fun game. Um, it just teaches a lot of different math concepts. And this is just, they never really complain about playing this game. Now for our favorite game. This is called Doubles Pancake Flip, or at least that's what we call it. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I got this, so I will try my hardest to find the free printable. But I had my kids help me cut these out and put them together, and then we laminated them. And the answer is on the back, of course. But this is a really fun way. You have to do it on carpet. But it's a really fun way. You can either get like a um, kid's spatula. Or actually, we used like one of my actual spatulas for a really long time until we got a play one. But it works better on carpet. So you just 
you know, learn your doubles this way, 12 plus 12, and you flip it over, 24, and they go and they flip it over. It's one of our favorite games. So our last favorite game is War, and I actually have a War set of playing cards that I think I maybe got at Target or somewhere once upon a time. Um, you can just use a regular set of playing cards, and the Ace is a 1, and you just take out all the face cards. But we love to play this, and basically, I mean, you can, you can do it with anything. You can do addition, you can do subtraction, you can do anything you want. So basically, you just divide the cards in half, give one your child one half and another child another half or yourself and you both just flip them over if you're adding whoever would say 14 first would get both cards and whoever ends up with more cards at the end wins so you can do it subtraction multiplication however you want it um, you can also do I've seen ways where um, you can do like a memory card game and you can it has to add up to a certain number, so 10, for instance. So you'd, you'd have to turn over a 7 and a 3 or a 6 and a 4 or a 5 and a 5. So you can do so many different things with um, war cards or regular playing cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy pie day today with your kiddos and go and maybe make them some pie. Be sure and check out the playlist below for some more fabulous mamas sharing their favorite games and books for pie day. Have a great day, guys.